have I got a special treat for you guys today. I am super excited to be showcasing this beautiful, luxurious, brand new construction in the heart of Alpharetta, Georgia. Now, not many homes can claim to be within walking distance of downtown Alpharetta and its super popular Main Street, but this house can. We're just a few minutes away from all of the action happening on Main Street with its trendy eateries and shops and whatnot. This is a beautiful brand new construction, as I mentioned. More details on that as we go through the video. Now, if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Terrence Richardson, your line of realtor with the XP Realty. And when you're thinking about buying or selling real estate in Metro Atlanta, I would like to be your real estate resource of choice. So all of my contact information is in the description below. Property tour coming up right now. Okay, let's get started with the property tour. So the sun's behind the house, it casts a pretty hard shadow on the front, but you can see what kind of a commanding presence this property has on this corner. Now this neighborhood is a mix of older homes with brand new. New construction here is called infill. So when one of these older home sells, it gets purchased and these beautiful uh, new properties get built on them. So as you can see, there's some new construction happening there. And throughout the neighborhood, uh, it's all these beautiful brand new homes. And there's super strong demand for these luxurious properties in Alpharetta. Alpharetta is a tech hub in Metro Atlanta. And so it has a lot of really high paying tech jobs that have come from California for a lot of different reasons. Google's here, et cetera. Take a look at these garage doors. They are massive. Now the whole driveway is pavers, which is also beautiful. Let's take a look now at the entrance. It's got a really nice front porch. It's covered, it's got a lot of wood paneling. These beams are absolutely massive. They add a lot of character. Everything is a statement piece in this house, as you would expect. So what are we looking at? This is an eight bedroom, nine and a half bathroom, 7,700 square feet of finished space home. It's got two stories above grade. The basement is finished. It's got a wonderful outside living space that I can't wait to show you as well. So as we step into the foyer, everything is nice and open. Love the wood doors. It's a two story foyer, which in most houses would be a three story foyer because of how tall the ceilings are. So the ceilings on the main are 12 feet. You can really see that height. Got the dining room with the accent wall absolutely beautiful the wood floors throughout are white oak and just to look up over here to show you the staircase with the wrought iron and the detail on the wall in the foyer it's absolutely beautiful check out all of the accents. So the great room, I feel like this is a house where the great room is actually great. I mean, oftentimes we call living rooms great rooms and there's, and there's nothing really great about them. You know, they're pretty standard. This puts the great in great room. Look at the beautiful coffered ceiling, the statement P chandelier, the fireplace that anchors everything in the middle with the beautiful wood built-ins on either side with the bookshelves. And you have windows for days. There's so much natural light that comes into this property. I'm a big fan of the black windows. You've got your breakfast area between the great room and the kitchen. And this kitchen, oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful as well. So we've got the Electrolux double refrigerator freezer which is massive, as you can see. Look at all the room you have in there. That's just the refrigerator. And you've got your freezer on this side. If you enjoy these property tours, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one how big the island is with the waterfall. Countertop on there. 
It's a mix of marble and quartzite. Got your wolf range. Got a nice little pot filler. Got the marble backsplash. Now, a lot of the other appliances that you'll see in this home are ASCO, high-end appliances as well. I love these uh, pendant lights. They look really cool. They look like those Chinese lanterns. Now, this property also has a scullery. Let's go take a look at the actual workspace that we have back here. So there's an extra dishwasher. You've got an extra sink. And then we've got big pantry over on this side. This home has not one, not two, but three laundry rooms, one on each level. So you're never ever having to go up or down stairs with clothes. So little mud room as you come in from the side and here is one of the laundry rooms. There's room here for a stacked washer dryer. We've got a sink over here as well. Got another prep sink here. Let's step outside. I wanna show you how cool this space is. So we're looking at roughly, it's not quite a half acre, it's 0.4 acres for the lot. And it's a big house that fits on this lot, but the lot doesn't feel super small. So take a look at this. So everything has the beautiful wood. Massive fan. I'm a fan of that fireplace. That absolutely anchors this room. Looks really great. Room for a TV or whatnot up there. You've got outdoor kitchen on this side. And a really cool feature. So you've got guests here, right? There's a bathroom on the inside, I'll show you. It's on the way to the primary suite, which we'll check out here in just a moment. But you don't necessarily want your guests to have to go back through the house all the way over to that side to use the restroom. So this is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you think it's neat to have a bathroom right here? And it's not just any kind of bathroom. This is a full bathroom. So there's room for storage. My thought process is, now I know that they've already got plans for a pool they're not going to put the pool in but they assume that whoever is going to buy the house might have an interest in a pool so they went ahead and got everything designed and uh, checked out for a pool so this property can absolutely accommodate that so imagine having a pool over here right you've got tons and tons of room there i like how they kept the tree you've got a massive tree right there that did a good job of preserving it. Let's go back inside. Okay, I'm gonna show you the primary suite next. Now the trend I've seen is that the, well, before we go to the primary suite here is that guest bathroom that I was talking about. I love the accent wall, it's all tiled. Looks really good. So instead of having guests trek all the way from outside to here, they've got the potential pool bathroom, right? Accessible outside so you don't have to come in. This is the primary suite. Again, with the super tall ceilings, love the accent wood in the middle, beautiful fixtures, lots of light. If you've noticed, all of the walls have beveled or rounded edges too. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. Now there's a trend to have, I mean, it's a good size primary suite. 
The trend is to not have these oversized primary suites anymore. The bathroom is gonna be huge, however. Take a look at this, beautiful tile. Two massive vanities there. Statement piece again with the lighting. Walk-in shower, multiple fixtures. And check out the size of the primary closet. Now, this is not complete. It's intentionally left this way so that whoever buys this property can finish it out however they desire. I'm gonna take you upstairs next, and you're gonna to wanna to stick around until the end because it's not an unfinished basement. We've got a finished basement downstairs and it's an absolutely beautiful space as well. Now I will say, because of how many, or not because of how many stairs, but because of how high the ceilings are, you have extra stairs here. So it does feel like you're going upstairs for a little while. Just the trade off for the high ceilings. So we've got the beautiful white oak floors continue up here. We're gonna start behind me here real quick with this bedroom. Upstairs we have another five bedrooms. This is probably my favorite one. The accent wall is really neat. I like the green with the color of the lighting. It's a smaller bathroom, but it's still a full private bathroom. Tiled walk-in shower, frameless door. Smaller closet there, it's just a little reach in. You see what I mean about the corners? So, they did a fantastic job. Looks really good. Oh, you've got these rounded corners everywhere. These are nice heavy doors. At the end there, you see we've got another laundry room. Extra storage. Here is the second upstairs bedroom. It's got a much bigger closet. And of course, it's private bathroom. Now this is gonna be one of the few bedrooms that has a tub shower combination. We've got two more bedrooms over here. So this is bedroom number three. And while downstairs, we've got the 12 foot ceilings. I believe on the second floor, it's 10. Nothing feels small in this house. Got another tub shower combination in the back there. Built in vanity here. Good size closet, walk in. You can see across the street, they're building another property. Infill new construction, it's all the rage right here. You see a lot of it in town, you see a lot of it in Alfred or Roswell, Woodstock, Marietta. Land is hard to find now. But it's also an opportunity for smaller, more custom builders to come in and do one-offs and not have to buy 100 acres. Walk-in closet over here. And this glass here is neat, it's following the roof line. So this is bedroom number four. I'm gonna show you the last bedroom upstairs. 
And then we're gonna head down to the finished basement. So over here is bedroom number five. So you've got the primary suite on the main. You've got five bedrooms up here. And downstairs, of course, you'll have two more bedrooms. It's a really nice walk-in shower. Big closet. All right, let's head downstairs. Now, if you like these type of property tours and you'd like to see more of them, I release a brand new construction, usually luxury. I like to specialize in luxury new construction. Those tours always come out on Tuesdays between four and 5 p.m. So if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification button. That way you'll never miss another one. Gosh, I love this house. It, it looks, it feels so good in here. Like the colors that they chose, there's just a really cool energy. All right, I've already showed you this floor. Let's go downstairs. Okay, here is bedroom number seven. It's got a really big shower. That's a utility room. It's got all of the furnaces. There's two, looks like two tankless water heaters back there. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time there. I mean, it's dark, I don't have the light on. You can see everything is spray foam insulation. Take a look at this. So this is the downstairs living room. Love the wood doors, comes outside to a little backyard courtyard. Fireplace. And then it's got a full kitchen. And how would you use this room here? I think it would be the perfect humidor. If you're into cigars, you could potentially make sure that this is airtight, get a ventilation system in here. I mean, it is serviced by HVAC, but it's, this would be a perfect spot for a humidor. Let me know in the comments below what you would use this space for. It's got the nice glass wall, French doors, cool little space. So I'm curious. Please leave a comment, let me know. I'll read and respond. Wanna know what your thoughts are. So here is a second kitchen. The downstairs kitchen is nicer than most homes primary kitchen. Good size island. Dining room would go there. This is a great in-law suite. Got this space here. And there's a room back there that would make a good storm shelter. It's nice and reinforced. Not much to look at, but I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Yeah, see? Storm shelter. Beautiful white oak floors run throughout down here as well. Lots of lighting. I like this picture, I think it's cool. And here is bedroom number eight. Now this is a cool bedroom because it also has its own access to the courtyard. It's a good sized room. This is a bathroom that is accessible to the basement and this bedroom. So you've got door in this way, of course, from the bedroom. It's a 
good sized shower. Nice and tiled there. And of course, it's walk-in closet. So we're gonna step outside. We're gonna take a quick look at the courtyard. Massive retaining wall. Room for other furniture and whatnot on that side. And if I'm buying this house, I think that I am absolutely putting the pool there. Great property, right? If you'd like more information about this house, feel free to reach out. My email is right here. Would love to answer any questions that you have. Now, if you enjoy new construction property tours and you'd like to watch more videos, I recommend you check out this playlist right here. It's a playlist of just luxurious brand new construction properties throughout Metro Atlanta. And if you haven't already done so, I'd consider subscribing so you never miss another one. Click down here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.